Today I want to go over some of the style tips that I would tell my younger self. These are things I wish I knew a couple years ago, things I've learned over the last couple years, and things that have really enhanced my personal style and allowed me to step into something that feels very authentic, but then also was like a natural progression. So reflecting backwards can be really helpful to see that overall journey. Now, because I'm also working with Cezanne in this video, I'll be styling some of their pieces throughout in order to illustrate my points, and then I will link them down below. So let's get started. So my first style tip that I would tell my younger self is when in doubt, go for a white shirt. And this extends to the top that I'm wearing, something like a t-shirt style, but like a little bit fancier. And then all the way up to a standard white button down. I really love both of these items and no matter how my style has adjusted over the last couple of years, I keep coming back to them. And having a variation of either of those within my closet at all times has given me a lot of styling potential. I love how they look with jeans or tailored pants like I'm wearing today. I think they also look great with skirts and everything in between and it's such a versatile piece It's incredibly timeless and that timelessness has been something that I've really leaned into And especially as you reflect on your style over a couple years You can really start to see that cyclical nature of fashion and how things kind of come and go But there are certain mainstays that you always reach for and for me That's definitely a white shirt So the next style tip that I wish I knew when I was younger or something that I would tell my younger self is anytime something starts to feel a little bit dated or a little bit stale, a little bit boring, just go up or down in the size. I find that that's enough variation. Once you find those pieces that you love, so building off of that white shirt idea, and then you know that that's something you can wear and you can style, just by going up an extra size to get it a little bit more oversized totally changes how it feels. And it can allow you to feel a little bit fresher in your silhouette ultimately allowing you to build your closet with those core pieces, but still add some variation. And it's something that I've definitely leaned into the last couple of years because I was very strict before. And when I was really starting to figure out my style, I had a very strict one item rule. If I had a white shirt, it was a single white shirt. I didn't have any other versions, no other materials, no other sizes. And then as I've developed my style, I've understood the value of having those small tweaks here and there so that you don't end up with the closet full of a bunch of different things, but rather slight variations, all coming together for a really cohesive style that's uniquely you. The next style tip that I would give my younger self is to not be afraid of color and to not overthink color, especially as you start developing your personal style and you start looking into color palettes and color theory. It's very easy to get really wrapped up and think that you need to find the right color rather than just kind of going towards what you're gravitating towards naturally. And as I've kind of understood color theory better and had my own personal color analysis, I've realized that a lot of times your instinct is correct. And the vast majority of the colors that I already reached for and that I already loved are also the colors that are in perfect harmony with my coloring. So rather than kind of putting these really strict parameters on myself and feeling like I needed to stick to a really strict color palette and unless the color was perfect, it had no place in my closet, I would definitely recommend to my younger self that I kind of lose up a little bit and have a little bit more freedom, a little bit more fun, and ultimately more trust in what I actually like. And really kind of tapping into that I think comes with time a little bit. But then also as you reflect backwards, you can give yourself the grace to understand that that's definitely a journey and to kind of take that information and then move forward with it in a really positive direction. So that's what I'm doing now. I don't overthink anything anymore. I kind of just, if I like it, I'll put it up by my face, try it on, experiment with it, kind of reflect on what's already in my closet and make sure that the color is going to work within that color palette rather than hyper fixating and trying to analyze one specific piece and instead viewing it as a very cohesive overall story with a lot of parts that come together. So very similar to the color topic, another piece of style advice that I would give my younger self is to not be afraid of patterns, but that within those patterns, there are two that are very easy to integrate and those are stripes and florals and within both of those there are a ton of variations and a lot of things to consider but you can simplify it into a way that's really easy and it doesn't need to be something that just feels insurmountable when it comes to integrating it into wardrobe so if we're talking about stripes first my recommendation to my younger self would be to keep the color palette very soft and delicate don't go too extreme in any one direction and black and white can be really classic but a little tricky for 
for me personally. So instead, going for something like a soft blue and white or blue and off white. And that is such a beautiful classic piece and integrates really well within my color palette and isn't too much in any direction. So it works for spring, but then also for fall. You can layer it up or wear it with shorts, and it has a lot of flexibility in how you can style it. And then when it comes to florals, my recommendation to my younger self would be to let the color guide you. And when you go for those colors that you're naturally gravitating towards, the floral patterns tend to fall in place in a really beautiful way. So there are so many different variations of florals out there, but anytime that I've gone towards like those bluey colors or those beautiful green colors, anything along those spectrums tend to work really well for my wardrobe because they blend really easily with the other colors that I have and my neutral bases. So I can allow my solid colored pieces to really support them even further rather than bringing something in that feels a little bit like a wild card. So I definitely recommend that for you as well. Maybe if you're on a different part of this journey and you haven't ventured into patterns yet, if you're looking to florals, definitely go for color first. And then the last style tip that I wish I knew when I was younger is that soft touches don't diminish your strength. I think this is something a lot of us can relate to and something that I've definitely figured out over the last couple years and I'm still trying to lean into. But that is that if you wear something like a puff sleeve or a little delicate detail like a scallop or ruffles or anything like a soft floral uh, pattern, that that in turn can kind of make people treat you a little bit softer than maybe you'd want. And especially if you're trying to grapple with wanting to feel taller or more present, you're petite like I am, and people tend to call you cute or small, those types of things can be avoided in an attempt to kind of feel a little bit stronger, more powerful, and like you take up more presence. But what I found recently is that the strength inside is enough and wearing clothes that still make you feel great can kind of enhance that rather than take away from it. So it's definitely a journey and something that I myself am constantly experimenting with. And there are days where I'll put on a ruffle shirt and it just still doesn't feel right for me because I want something that feels a little bit more powerful inherently. So on those days, I'll go for a structured blazer or a really nice uh, fluffy soft sweater. But on the days when I put it on and I'm like, nope, this is right, this is feeling right, and I'm gonna allow myself to lean into that, I don't regret it. And it's definitely something that's been an interesting part of my style journey and something I recommend for you as well. So I'm gonna link everything that I styled down below and I would definitely love to know in the comments if there's anything that you would tell your younger self, any style advice that you've learned recently that you can reflect back on and would have found helpful then. Definitely let me know and like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.